Okay everyone, I'm back and I'm uh, going to be doing part two of my 1989 Ultra Star. This is going to be the back section. I've already completed the front section. You can find that on one of my other videos. Uh, I've got a uh, wooden wallboard down here and this is all vinyl. This is all wipe off, easy wipe off vinyl. And we hang up all the pot holders over here so we don't burn our little fingers. Got a calendar up there. And a uh, makeup mirror. Or uh, a mirror for shaving for me in the morning when my wife is in the bathroom. Anyway, uh, we got nice LED lights in here. And uh, this is all really nice uh, headliner with uh, the seams all lined with, uh, with oak. Uh, these are oak vanity doors. And uh, this is all oak, and this is vinyl. All of this is vinyl. This is our uh, refrigerator here, and uh, it's a uh, electric and gas. So uh, you can, if you're plugged in someplace, you don't have to use the propane. You can use uh, you can use the electric. It's a Dometic. Uh, this is the freezer section. And uh, down here we have the uh, refrigerated section. And I just wanted to show you a little something here. This is the uh, sensor for the thermometer over in the corner here. And that little arrow is to tell you that that's about where it should be. And you slide it up for uh, colder and you slide it down for warmer. That's your evaporator coil in there. Uh, the other thing I wanted to show you is that uh, we've had a problem with uh, cans marking up all these uh, little shelves put soda cans or beer cans in here well you've been putting paper towels in and as you can see that's a great solution right there and we just change them every now and then and it uh, it keeps the trays really clean as you can see now there's one other thing that I would like to show you on this refrigerator and that is the energy switch up here. And that is to keep the, uh, the uh, gaskets on the uh, refrigerator from freezing. And uh, you either turn it on or you turn it off. And, it, and what it does is it, it uh, activates the heating coil inside this, uh, this trim here to uh, keep the doors from freezing shut. And both of them lock shut like that. Push the button, and you can open them up. All right, down here we have uh, a little storage area, but you have to keep it open because that's the intake for the furnace. Okay, we have uh, a furnace duct over here, and we have a furnace duct over here, and we have one more furnace duct in the bathroom, in the uh, bathroom, and one. Sorry, one in the bedroom. Keep the bathroom warm. This is for storage, both sides there. Have a really nice uh, wardrobe. And uh, I've got to finish this up. I just left these wires hanging. I, I needed a light so bad, and it's LED. So I stuck that in there for now. And the doors locked shut like that. This uh, little fan up here. We keep it up here in the summertime and uh, what we do is we turn it on and it, it helps to, uh, I can't even get it off there, but at any rate, that uh, little fan there helps to uh, distribute the, uh, the air conditioning into the front when we're just running one air conditioner. Now this is really unique, this door here. Now the fan's going to be in the way, so I'm going to try and do it anyway. Uh, this little door is made out of bamboo squares. Really unique. It's all uh, it's all weaved together of uh, bamboo strips, a little nylon there, and that's how we uh, get some privacy in there in the, during the night. And uh, this just goes right back here when the fan's not in the way. And then uh, there's a little strap that comes around. 
and uh, pokes right in there like that. Okay. Down there we have a uh, another the heat register, and over in the corner here we put in a uh, new uh, Honeywell uh, digital uh, thermostat. And as you can see, it's 99 degrees in here. And this is uh, our heater switch, so we can turn this thermostat off. So if we come back here at night and it's dark and we don't have a uh, we don't have a light with us, and want to turn the thermostat off, just flip the switch here. And it's battery operated. It takes two uh, two D cells, two uh, triple uh, double A cells. This just pops right off it like this. Two AAA cells. That just goes back on there. Like that. Just like that. Okay. There's well, it was all brand new blue carpet in here when I when I bought this in these hardwood floors. Somebody uh, put nice paneling on the sides here. And we have Venetian blinds and uh, slide windows. Just this one section right here would open. Uh, in the back, we have Venetian blinds, but that window doesn't open at all. It's just a big picture window. Then we have uh, um, all the uh, vinyl, easy to wipe vinyl walls in the back there with uh, a couple of uh, uh, small night, like night lights. And then uh, we have two vanity cabinets, one on this side and one on the other side over here. And uh, I'll bet you that noise is probably driving you crazy by now. Then we have these little rails up here. Okay, we're going to stop that noise and I'll, I'll show you how we do that. If that noise is coming from this uh, propane monitor. Okay, and the reason it's beeping is because it says it hasn't been reset yet. So what you have to do, it's uh, looking for for a reset. Okay, so we're going to turn it back on and it starts clicking. The initial, that constant beep was a, a wailing sound the initial test for it, okay? In a minute, it should stop. Okay. In the meantime, this is all Lipovo vinyl. We have a uh, smoke detector up here. And uh, you see it stopped. Now, that thing's pretty important because, let me show you something here on the stove. When you turn the stove on, okay, you can't get any propane. Why? Because the lines are, are filled up with air. And uh, once the air comes out, then you can go ahead and cook. And uh, this is all electric start. But when there's air in the lines, it doesn't want electric start. Okay? Now, the thing is, Nothing works if this reset down here monitor for the uh, for the propane is not reset. You hear it? It's quiet. Okay, and it's a flashing light. Flashing light tells you it's getting electricity and it's not beeping so it doesn't sense any propane. So we're not even concerned about propane. But if that that monitor is beeping, the the propane safety switch is turned off. There's no propane coming into the motorhome, which means there's no heat, there's no hot water, there's no range, range cooking, uh, there's no refrigerator. So while this thing is beeping, it means that the, the safety valve is shut for the propane. So anytime it senses propane, it's gonna shut off all the gas for the uh, motorhome. Now over here we have some uh, night switches. Uh, this other switch is for the Arctic package. There's an Arctic package on here which keeps the tanks from freezing. And we have these little hooks, which my little wife likes. And then uh, 
This is a makeup mirror and she uses the shelf on it like this and I just added this mirror to it for her so that she can use her makeup on here and she still has a mirror. She doesn't have to flip this up. And of course we have always have to make sure this is up before we start. And up here we have uh, we have our remote for our 19 inch TV and we have our hookup for uh, 12 volt for the TV and we have uh, 110 volt for anything that she wants to run back here when the generator's running. Of course this this won't work unless the generator's running or plugged in someplace. Okay and uh, we have a real nice headliner here. There's no brakes or anything in it. It's really nice. It's nice and clean. It was like that when I bought it. This uh, little uh, latch right here all right I'm sorry there's our air conditioner right there for the back it's uh, 14,000 BTUs and it has uh, low medium and high and it also has uh, optional heat it's a heat coil in there this is uh, probably one of the original units that was in here I don't know but someday I'll have to replace it but here's our 19 inch TV if you want to watch LED TV and all you have to do is plug the antenna in and plug the 12 volts in and you could run the TV okay now we have this is the uh, bathroom door it's all oak real nice oak with a nice little privacy latch on it that you could lock but I don't know why you would and then there's a little safety latch over here that holds it when you're driving down the road if you want. And also I've added a latch up here for at night. So sometimes at night we'll just latch this door and we won't bother bringing the bamboo door across. We've got a little uh, place for uh, towels here. And uh, up here is your, uh, your exhaust for the bathroom. It opens like that, closes like that. Of course, when we're, when we're not in it, we keep it closed. We've got uh, nice LED lights in here. Now these LED lights, I bought them and they're oval. And they didn't, they didn't fit the old hole where the square lights, the regular incandescent square lights came out of. So I had to build this uh, template out of, uh, out of plexiglass, clear plexiglass and then paint it white. And once I made the first one, then I used it on all of them because they're all the same. Then in here we have a uh, couple of uh, racks, a couple of holders for towels and stuff. Extra towels. And then toothpaste, toothbrushes and stuff. This is our medicine cabinet. It's all oak. And uh, it doesn't really stay shut, so we got this little latch on here that we always put on it. And uh, we have our rugs, our bath rugs, hang up here, a nice rack that I put in. It goes across there. Of course, a window. And this is all vinyl, wipeable vinyl. This is all wipeable vinyl. And uh, we have a little drawer here with a magnet on it to keep it shut. And we have storage under here. And then this sink. This was a scrap piece of Corian that I got from a friend of mine. And I had to form all this. And I had to uh, sand it all down and make it nice and smooth. The thing I like about Corian is even though it's really heavy, if you scratch the top, all you have to do is repolish it. And uh, it'll bring the, it'll take the scratch out and you'll be right back to square one. We've got a boat sink in here, a mowing faucet, nice mowing faucet, uh, mixing faucet. Called, and then we have a uh, porcelain toilet and uh, vinyl flooring, and this is our uh, this is our shower unit. I probably shouldn't show you this because I got all my cleaning stuff down here. But at any rate, um, this is a a shelf that we repaired this year. Used to have uh, just a piece of uh, cheap uh, cork corrugated board in there or whatever you want to call it anyway um, this is our oxygenator our oxygenator head for shower I can take a shower probably with two gallons after you adjust your temperature you just uh, 
shut it off right here, like that. And then uh, you just turn it back on when you're ready to rinse off. It just goes right back on, on there. It just comes out. This is a little clothes rack. And uh, LED light in there. This is all wipeable vinyl on the top. And uh, down here we have a uh, both of these faucets. This faucet is brand new, and uh, it's uh, all you have to do is you know turn them just a, half, a quarter turn or both a quarter turn, which is really nice. I mean we had those old uh, you know spin on spin off. Uh, there's a there is a unique thing that happened here. When I bought this, this had plastic accordion doors across here. And you're always hitting your head or your butt against the doors. You just didn't have any room in there to take a shower. So I got mad at them one day and I ripped them out and I went to Walmart and I just got hooks and a, a shower curtain and I cut it to size. And that's worked great for a couple years now. Okay, so that is the bathroom. And uh, let's see, we have, uh, we have a heating vent down the bottom there because it gets pretty cool in there at night. And uh, that is the back of the motorhome. All right, there's another thing I'd like to show you here. And that is, uh, these are all drawers under here. And uh, I put my shorts and my t-shirts and my tops in here. My wife uses the other cabinet. There's uh, four drawers here. And I put these little latches on to keep them from sliding out. And there's four drawers there. Okay, that was a really nice mattress on here when I bought it. It's in really great shape. And my wife uses a mattress topper on it. Now this picks up. And under here, this crutch in here. And I put it right in here because I don't want this thing coming down and breaking my back. So I have this old crutch. And if I break my leg somewhere, I'll be able to use it for that. In the back there is my uh, water storage. It's pretty big. I, I'm not sure. I think it's uh, uh, probably about a 60 or an 80 gallon. I'm not sure. I don't ever fill it up. And then under here, I have my toaster, and I have my, my toasters in here, four slice toaster. And then I have an adjustable ladder, a 13 foot adjustable ladder in there. And then this just goes right back here like this. And then I carry, over in the corner there, I carry an extra uh, 18 volt cordless drill. Alrighty, I think I'll close this up now. Let's go back on here. Okay, then that goes back in there like that. And then uh, just let it down. Like that. All ready to go. Okay, and that's it. That completes it. And uh, I'd like to say thank you for watching today. Please subscribe. And uh, this is Jane. Happy trails.